there, we are Claire and Nick Butcher and we've been together for over 20 years. We used to live in Wiltshire in the UK, with Nick having a background in bathroom sales and myself in hospitality and catering. In 2020, we decided to leave the daily grind to start a new life in France. Eventually, we ended up buying this. It's not officially a chateau, even though the village locals call it one. However, it is just as large and equally as much hard work as a chateau. With a horde of original features and the building having been unoccupied for many years, we are slowly breathing life back into her, whilst frequently still finding the many treasures she holds. Join us on our journey with our dogs, Flora and Merlo, as we renovate our Maison de Maitre, one turret short of a chateau. Happy Sunday! My darling husband likes to leave his alarm clock on on a Sunday. Joy. My husband has currently left the room and has gone to make his coffee. As you can see, normally he is here in bed and there is an outline where normally he sits against the headboard and ironically there is also a face in the wood. Today we are going out. We've not been to the market for a couple of weeks. Basically just been busy doing things and editing and doing what you need to do around the house. But today, today we're going out. It's a bit cold out here today. Somebody's in a bit of a, a mood, aren't you? Oh, it's cold. I bet you won't be cold when you've got a beer in your hand. Well, I've got to say, it's pretty cold out there today. We've come to one of the many local drinking holes so that somebody can fill their boots. <laughs> Are you planning on getting up any time today? Floor? Come on, let's go. Let's go! Well, good morning. The sun occasionally keeps poking through. However, it's six degrees outside and it's one of those days where as a lady, you're glad you're wearing a padded bra. Now this week, we will be separating. Don't worry, he's not going far. I'm staying at this side of the house and you, you're going through to that side of the house, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Unless... Unless you want to have the burden of organising and preparing everything for Christmas. Oh, I could do. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you make it look so easy, it can't be that hard, can it? 
you remember that year when I cooked all of Christmas dinner and you'd had a couple of drinks and you came through and you stirred the gravy and you spilt it all over and everything was burning and smelling. Oh, it's got to be 10 years since that happened. It has got to be not 10 that, years. Not that you keep on about it. No, no. Or the year that you woke up and said, have we had Christmas dinner yet? <laughs> Not that you need to keep going on about it. No, no. I'll, I'll leave off the other years. So I'll stay this side. I will organise everything for Christmas, get everything done, because what's happening in two weeks' time? Um, we have some VIPs arriving. And who are these VIPs? Uh, my parents. And as you will know, viewers, I love my mother-in-law. And there is nothing but the best for my mother-in-law. So I've got a lot to do. There's two weeks until the arrival date. No, no, <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure on you. No. Don't, worry. No, no, no. Don't worry. I'll just soldier on on my own. Come in. Crack on. <laughs> so close. <laughs> so here's where I am at the moment. And it's pretty much where I left you. Well, it is where I left you the other day. Um, this is done, this is done. Over here, this needs another coat. Uh, I've got the tops to finish around here and another coat. So, reading your comments from last week underneath, this apparently is called grass cloth wallpaper or Japanese grass wallpaper. It's, it's rancid. This is highly, highly absorbent. It is so absorbent. It is like painting a sponge. I am, I am layering this on so thickly. I, it's actually like icing a cake. I'm using that much paint. Um, yeah, and I, I have to... I have to go over it twice because otherwise you can still see the brown. Anyway, that's enough of all of that. <laughs> Let's have at it. Yay. <laughs> Okay, so finished all the outside work that I can get away with for now. Um, going to be working inside and you might think, oh, that'd be nice and warm for you. Don't forget, the Maison de Nature has no heating. So it's not a warm environment. I thought I'd start off by having a little recap with everybody. Um, show you what needs to be done. This will be a kitchen. Currently, well, we've got nothing here. One power socket that I put in as a temporary power socket, but there's no water, no drainage, no flooring, a bit of wallpaper to come off, cracks in the ceiling to sort out. Yeah, quite a bit of work to do in this room. Go across the corridor here and show you what will become the breakfast room. Breakfast 
a spoon. Um, now in here, we've got cracks to the ceiling, the plaster work. Um, I did put all the electrics in, which are all connected up and okay. <sighs> yeah, but we obviously need a paint and whatnot and better lighting put in, but uh, not too much to do in this room. Uh, we'll go down the corridor. So we know... So we know we got the... Actually, the other rooms down here were done. The room that we had for the dining room last year. okay for now. Across the corridor, the one working bedroom, now there are. Working bedroom, now there are a couple of things to sort out in here, but I'll probably do this last because they're not that obvious we've got some wood panelling under there that needs repairing the wall behind the wardrobe there the plaster's blown a bit so um, that will fall off very very easily um, and there are a couple of cracks on the ceiling you can't really see it on film but uh, a couple of cracks that will need repairing in due course otherwise this room pretty much done. The hallway itself, well, I've got things to do here, get rid of all the old electrical fittings and then repair the walls from them. Um, a bit of work where I cut through to get the electricity to the ceiling lights. Those holes need repairing. Not too much work here. But I'll take you upstairs and show you quite what there is to do there. Well, one thing I need to do is get some lighting on the actual stairwell here because it's a bit dark. So, let's have a look and uh, yeah, where shall I start? Well, this is the ensuite for the bedroom through there. And uh, yeah. Uh, everything to do in there. So that ensuite was going to be for this bedroom which um, not too much to do in here but there are cracks to the plaster work that need repairing uh, floor needs repairing where I gouged it to get the floorboards up yeah not too much work to do in here let's go Let's go across the corridor. Again, in the corridor upstairs, we've got old electrical things that need dismantling. And then, so we'll have this bedroom here. Uh, again, bits of work to do to the plaster. 
old electrical things to come off. And at the moment, there are no sockets in this room. Uh, which obviously everyone likes sockets nowadays, so I need to sort that out. We'll come through, this all needs to be done. This, oh, it's dark. I have no light here and the, the shutters are shut, but this will be... To the shut, but this will be a couple of bathrooms, uh, which, yeah, a long way off that at the moment. This bedroom over here, well, uh, I've got to get the floorboards back down, the window needs repairing, um, the ceiling work needs to be done. Uh, yeah, quite a lot to do in here. Hmm, right, I'll take you upstairs and we'll talk about the attic. Again, I need more lighting here. And this is the attic. So our plan is to convert this and make it into one enormous suite. Um, at the moment, the majority of the roof is just the, the slates. You can see the underside of the, the roof slates. So earlier this year, I started to put on insulation and plaster boarding. And well, I got so far, but there is an awful lot more of it to do. And some of it's quite high up. So this is gonna be a big job. It's going to take time. I think it's the kind of thing that just going to nibble off bit by bit. And Claire and I are sort of saying, we'll come and do sort of one day a week up here. Just gradually nibble it away and we'll get there. But it is a mammoth task. So going to really focus on the middle floor and the ground floor, that kitchen. Um, gonna get all of that done as much as possible. Um, up here, we're, I'm gonna get floorboards back down. I've lifted those to be able to get electricity, the, the lighting in the ceiling of the floor below. Um, so I wanna get all of that work done with, and then damage to the ceilings on the middle floor will be uh, minimized from then on. So, yeah, get the floorboards down. <sighs> There's a lot to do up here. Got no working electricity up here or water, so I need to get all of that up to here. <sighs> It'll be nice when it's done. And I think today I'm gonna start off by having a bit of a tidy up up here 
get all the rubbish out. Things like a metal bed frame. We inherited that with the house. It's an old mattress. I mean, oh, you wouldn't. Um, bits of plasterboard cut off and insulation and bits of wood. So I'm going to have a bit of a tidy up. Um, and then do the same on the middle floor. And then, yeah, and then I can start work. Right, well, had a bit of a tidy up. Uh, got a few more bags of rubbish to take down. Um, yeah, so um, gonna leave that for now. Go downstairs and get the middle floor tidied up. Of course, after being outside in that grim weather, I've come inside and look at it out there. There we go, a lot tidier. Happy with that and uh, yeah, get the rubbish out and uh, crack on. One of the jobs uh, we want to get on with straight away is uh, finishing off the lighting uh, to the middle floor. Um, now up here in the attic, some of the floorboards you can see are up and that's because that was the only way to get the wiring to everywhere without destroying the ceilings on the middle floor. Um, so we've done some of the rooms there, but this needs to come up and or down there. There's some down there that need to come up as well. Um, so yeah, let's get some floorboards up. Okay, so um, yeah, some of the floorboards are not in tip-top condition. Um, yeah, the state of that one is just crumbling. Um, I think historically some water's been coming down around the chimneys and uh, yeah, not been doing the woodwork any good. So anyway, I've just lifted up the floorboard and it's amazing what you find. Um, a load of rags now. Potentially something has made a nest out of them in there. I don't know, there's no evidence of any droppings or um, any skeletal remains. And the other thing I just found in there were two things. Firstly, that. Um, don't know. And the other thing. This sort of chain and I don't know if the two items are related in any way, but uh, I don't think any animal would have put them there for building a nest. Well, they will go into the pile of mystery objects that we found in the house. 
Um, so anyway, I've just taken up a couple of floorboards here. Um, somewhere here is where the wire is going to come up from the ceiling below, which is then going to come along here and in that direction. Um, so possibly I'll be able to feed that through without disrupting the middle of the floor. And if I can do that, that would be brilliant. Um, I will, however, have to replace these floorboards with, uh, with new ones. Yeah. Right, well I've got the old fitting out of there. Um, I pushed the wires, the cables that were there, pushed them back up through the ceiling. Um, now I've got a bright light here, and I'm shining that up, and hopefully if I go upstairs, I'll see where that light is coming through the ceiling, and I'll know where the wire's gonna appear when I push that up. Well, that would be too easy, wouldn't it? Um, no sign of any light coming through. Um, going to push a wire up and see what happens. It is down there. You can't really see, but it is down there. So I need to get a hooky thing to hook the wire and put it through. I am starting to make some progress here. It worked! Ah. Right, I've got the wire up. I need to push a bit more through, it's not pulling freely. I need to get a few more meters to get and then I can get it through at this end where I want it to end up. But uh, I'm really chuffed with what I've just done. It's uh, definite progress. Um, the light's starting to go now so Call it a day for now. <laughs> I've now been going around the tops of the walls near the ceiling and it's really it's really frustrating because yeah it's really absorbent wallpaper but it's almost as if somebody's been a heavy smoker in here and it's like bleeding through um, where I'm painting it and there's just brown that's coming through underneath. But I am actually now giving it a couple of coats. A few of you have said about the brown beams. Uh, they are wood. Somebody's obviously stained them as well. But it's amazing the amount of detail that somebody's gone to because beam. Yep. And then you'll see that there's trim along stuck to each beam. But also, there's another little hidden thing. There's a couple of, here's one. There's a beam, a wooden beam, and then there's a metal RSJ. Well, it's quite dark outside now. I think I've done well today. Up to around here somewhere. I'm gonna call it quits for today. I've still got stuff to do elsewhere. You know, the normal, the making dinners and cleaning and feeding dogs and Good progress. E Are you all right there? It's time to go to bed. It's bedtime. It's bedtime. We Top floor of the Maison de Maitre, and it's a foggy start to the day. It's still freezing. So, well, I've got no heating in here, but at least if I shut the window. <laughs> Keep some of that outside. So today, <clears throat> well I've just been downstairs and poked the wire up through the ceiling so I should be able to grab hold of the end of it there. I just need to then route that along to effectively behind the 
stairwell um, where I'll be able to get the power down, straight down um, on the ground floor. That's where we've got the consumer units. So <clears throat> I need to get the wire to there. Um, the next thing I will do is replicate what I've done for this bedroom, but underneath those two rooms there, we've got where it's going to be two bathrooms, so they need ceiling lighting as well. So I'm going to try and push a wire up and see if I can find it at this side. So that's today's challenge. that wire in place those floorboards just crumbled all the way along the wall there obviously uh, yeah not in great condition so I'll take you down this passage um, this is where similar to the other one I'm going to fish the wires through you can see the floorboards here are already in a pretty bad state well they're completely rotten away um, so I need to lift up these floorboards and then once I poke the wire up from beneath I should be able to fish it through again it. I've got it. I just pulled through that wire upstairs. That's going to be the light for the bathroom. Um, however, as we told you, this is going to be separated into two separate rooms. Um, so I need to do something similar here um, for this room. In fact, I'm going to do two because I'm going to do one for this room and then this will be like the corridor through to the bedroom. Um, and actually, see straight up there, this has already got a plaster rose, that's quite decorative for what was a cupboard. So that's all the lights for the middle floor ceiling this side of the house that's all the wires now coming up here um, so I need to now plan how to get down somewhere about there all the way to the ground floor um, to get power up to here I'm quite pleased with this morning's efforts <sighs> making progress
today we are out and about again, aren't we? We are. Again. Again. Oh, the speed humps. That's why I keep it. <laughs> <laughs> you ready, 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 Whee! ready? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, we have in the back fur children. Where are we going today, kids? Nana! <laughs> We've arrived. The table is ready to go. It's very Christmassy in here. Hello. Parents are here. Mother's cooking something. Wait and see. Slam. Uh, what a treat for you, honey, not having to cook for me. And look, I get a lovely dinner. Lovely lamb roast dinner this afternoon at oh. Shea Dawson. Very nice. Very nice. Well done, Mother. Absolutely Thank splendid. Thank you. Want to get some meat? Oh. It took me a lot of cooking. Did it, me? Good. <laughs> you all right there? Night, night. Night, night. Love you. I finally finished last night painting these things up here. After I'd finished, I then put the room back together and got it ready for Christmas as a dining area. This was not a quick job <laughs> like what I thought originally. It took three days to paint. Whoever created that fabric string wallpaper should be hung up by their toes. It is the worst thing ever. If you're looking at buying a home in France and it has this string wallpaper, well, I suggest that you either don't buy the house, get the seller to remove it or burn it. It will save so much time and money on paint. <laughs> I had a few people ask, why aren't you painting the ceiling? The ceiling is Hessian fabric and it's tiny little squares. And that would have probably taken another two weeks to paint because of also all of the wooden trim. I've not done that. Now, yes, I did originally say that this was like the undercarriage hair of a donkey. The pubes of a donkey. And I did have a couple of people say, how do you know that? Here's a picture. Ah. If you're on holiday in a foreign country and you see something that reminds you of your husband, you've got to have a look and get a picture with it. Anyway, moving on very quickly. <laughs> I have finished. I have finished it is a lot, lot brighter. Just remember what it looked like last week when I started this. What I'll do, I'll just do a quick little sweep of the room of before. And now it looks like this. Dining room Christmas tree is up. Little things have happened, curtain tie backs. It still has a hint of fish. <laughs> but it looks a lot brighter, a lot nicer, and a lot cleaner. So I would say that that is another little job done. Hi and welcome to Wine, wine of, of the Week. week. Um, yeah, it's wine. It's a Beaujolais Nouveau. It's a couple of weeks old now, so we thought we'd probably drink it before it becomes Beaujolais old. 
Ojain. <laughs> you don't want it to go off in the bottle, really, do you? No. <laughs> so, well, started again in the Maison de Maitre. Um, just about to get in the swing of things, and well. You'll have to join us next week because there's something really exciting happening. Exciting for us, and hopefully, you find it exciting too. Yes. Well, what do you think of the room? It's very Christmassy. <laughs> the, room, the room is very pretty. Um, <laughs> You're very Christmassy. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'll just open this. <laughs> oh. Starting to feel festive. Um, before too long, we'll be having an influx of parents. 11 days until mother in law arrives. Yay. Yay. <laughs> And father-in-law. And father, yeah, he can My come father. along. He can come along too, I guess. As long as he brings some wine. Hint. 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 <laughs> if I can ever get into this. <laughs> I think she'd have had enough practice by now. <laughs> I'm saving the corks. <laughs> well, if you have enjoyed this week's episode, please click the like button. And if you're not subscribed already, please consider doing so. It's free. You get notifications of when you can watch us. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram and X or on our website at www.theexpatbutchers.com. My father said I wasn't pouring you enough wine in the glass. So. Oh, good man. He also said we should open wine in advance and let it breathe, but um, I don't think you really need to with Beaujolais Nouveau, so... No. Gloss over that this week. Well, cheers. Cheers and uh, thanks for cheers watching. Cheers to you. Thanks for watching. And yeah, thanks for watching. Mm, yeah, all of that malarkey. <laughs> cheers. Yeah. <And laughs> join us next week. Mm. I think it would actually taste better as more wine this one. gone off. Anyway, see you next week. <laughs>